Hey everyone and thanks for stopping by. So in this video I'm going to go through the Avengers Infinity War Black Widow SH figure arts action figure. I was supposed to do this before Endgame came out but you know there was too many figures to go through so I didn't make it. But let's carry on anyway. So this is Black Widow and she was a general release so no brown shipper box. Uh, but let's show you the box first before I open the actual packaging. So it's the same sort of theme as the rest of the Infinity War figures, this time in the Black Widow color scheme with black and gold on there. Uh, this one has a painted artwork of uh, Black Widow uh, in Scarlett Johansson's likeness. It's pretty cool artwork, I do like it, um, but they're not all consistent. Some boxes use more uh, painted artwork like this, others use actual photographs. Don't know why, but that's the difference. And then, of course, you've got the window display and then the gold foil writing of Black Widow and then what SH Figure Arts stands for. So it looks okay so far. Uh, I actually don't know what full accessories or optional parts she comes with, but I'm guessing this is exactly what she comes with. So photographs of her on the back, just like every SH Figure Arts and every good toy box should have. And then on the side, SH Figure Arts Black Widow, Avengers Infinity War logo. Same for the other side. Top and bottom aren't a great deal important. Let's get this thing open. And here is Black Widow out of the box. She comes with a few optional parts, which we're gonna go through first, then we'll jump into the figure. So let's go with the hands first. So she comes with two very neutral looking hands with the gloves molded and sculpted and painted on them. Very basic gloves with some ribbing sort of effect going on. Show you the other side of one hand. Very slender hands. Next pair of hands then are these cool, like active hands. Dynamic hands. These are cool for like if she's sweeping or uh, pushing something away. These are cool. Again, very slender hands, very thin. Final pair of hands are gripping hands. So these are shaped like fists, but these are actually to grip on to the batons that she comes with, or batons, however you want to pronounce them. Uh, I'll show you that in just a moment because uh, it's relatively easy to. Then she comes with two additional heads, which by the way, Thor only came with just one single head. Black Widow here comes with two extra heads. So that's cool, very cool. I still wish Thor came with more. Uh, the first head uh, is the B head, which is very similar to the original one that she's got attached anyway, but this is a bit more uh, angry, serious looking, rather than just a blank expression that she's got on. So you can see a bit of the wrinkle formation uh, in the brow uh, area, just between the eyes. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, the closer you look at it, the more you're gonna get the freckled sort of uh, printing effect that you will notice, but from a distance, you won't really notice that. I think the likeness for Scarlett Johansson is not bad. Third parties and Hot Toys, they have done better, but that's a different price range entirely. And third parties are just, you know, that's what they focus on is, is likeness. But I think it's okay. I think it's actually better than the previous Black Widow that came out uh, from SH Figure. So this is not too bad. So that's the B head, just to show you as well, it says B. Uh, in the other head, this is actually C, so I'm a liar. Um, I'm just mistaken. This is the B head, as you can see, it says B in there, <clears throat> but they're all lettered. So, this is her other extra head. So, this one is just with her looking off to her left ever so slightly. I think this one's okay, it gives a bit more of an expression. I mean, the other one does too, but compared to the blank one that she's got on, this one kind of makes her look uh, a little bit more uh, alive, so to speak. Not fully alive because the eyes are a little bit weird still. Um, but it's okay, you know, if something's looking dead straight at you, it can be a bit weird and dead looking like this one, which I'll show you more closely soon. Batons then to the weapons. So she comes with this set, which is just half, half, one to attach to each hand. Uh, what you do is you take off the handle and you feed this through to any pair of hand that you want. So let's say she's gonna use this as a single one then you feed it through on the underside of the hand, like so, and then you'll see it creep through, and then you just simply attach the other end, and that's it, very simple. The peg here isn't that super solid or long, so I think over time it may actually come up quite easily, but for now, it's okay. And then that's how it looks. Let me hold it with the other hand, and that's how it will look with the uh, hand applied to it. Same thing for the other one, it's the exact same thing, so you just get half and half with this one. I'm gonna put that to the side. You come with ones where they aren't active at all. So these are just the handles themselves. So I'm gonna put this to the side a bit because it's clashing with the color of the figure. So it's just plain black with the detailing on the grip. So these are the grip portions. 
and these have ball joints at the end and what this does is you plug it into the back of the figure which I'm going to show you in a moment so keep these to the side they might roll away uh, so try not to lose them on your end and then finally you come with the double uh, pole arm which is just all the one before but just linked up um, so this is instead of just giving you a peg to join those two they just give you a full complete one uh, but this also comes off on both ends so depending on which hand you want to use it in you just feed it in the exact same way like this and then yeah plug it back in so I won't show you that because it's the exact same thing concept really and that's it that's the full length pole that she will use then onto the figure itself so she doesn't come with any guns because you know or knives you see holsters on the legs they got unused this time around I think the Avengers Endgame one uh, she actually has something to use in there she might actually come with a pistol but this one does not come with a pistol it's just those parts I've shown you so to the figure itself giving you a closer look first before the before I talk about articulation then so this is her original a face now this is pretty blank you know looking um <clears throat> it's okay in terms of likeness again i don't mind it i think it's better than what they've done in the previous black widow figure uh, which i haven't done an unboxing video for but i'm sure you can find plenty of videos and uh pictures online for it but this i think is quite good her hair though is less silver whitey white looking than um in the movies it's a bit more of a gold that could be down to uh, concept art uh, and general concept that was given to sh figures to work with because we all know that a lot of the times they have to work uh, and manufacture these based on uh, concepts purely uh, and then they will differ from whatever ended up in the movie. Um, but otherwise, I think it looks quite good for a Black Widow f figure. I know what it's supposed to be. You know what it's supposed to be. Um, if you're a dead perfectionist, then you probably will end up going with Hot Toys. Uh, but then again, it's a different price range entirely. Uh, I don't collect Legend, so I don't know how that fares in comparison. But Overall then, I like the face and the, and, and the hair. It's not a bad thing. Then going on to the rest of the figure, we've got a green and black uh, coat, a jacket that she's wearing with the zippers all designed. There's a bit of red uh, paint on my one right here. Might need to scrape that off later, uh, but it's not a huge deal there. But it looks cool. All the uh, detail looks very, very nice on there. And then on the back side of the uh, jacket too, she's got that little back plate. And this is actually where the handlebars only apply it on the ball joint so you can see push your head forward a little bit you'll see two little holes there and then you can just feed this in like so and you hear it click and that's it and they because they're on the ball joint they can move around a little bit so it should be easier for depending on the pose that you're going to get her in if she's trying to reach for it it should be quite easy so take that out so it doesn't get in the way uh, it seems to fit quite snugly so you shouldn't worry too much about that but that's how you attach the handle then further on, looking on the sleeves then, so it's all detailed along her whole suit, along the whole arm for the suit. And then she's also got uh, the wrist, uh, I was going to call it anklets, but the wristlets, which look a lot like web shooters to me actually. Um, but they're not web shooters, but they're on there. They're not movable on here. And of course, these are her default fists. This belt is loose. So it's okay, it shouldn't get in the way too much. It's detailed quite nicely too with the silver paint job, metallic paint job. It can shift upwards like so a little bit if you need it to. Um, but otherwise, it's I didn't find it to be too much of a problem. Then her legs with the ribbing on there. And then of course the uh, side leg, which doesn't, this, this stuff isn't used at all. It's just there for decoration in this figure. Knee pads look pretty good. They've got a nice uh, gunmetal finish to them. And moving further down to the boots. Of course, impractical boots because she's a female hero, of course. But, you know, <clears throat> they look okay. I think they work fine. Uh, in, in a way, it might actually aid in posing and getting her to stand. Because she's a pretty petite figure overall. So standing, getting her to stand in certain poses, I found a little bit fiddly. Um, but, yeah, that could aid you. Uh, so that's how the figure looks then, uh, which I think is okay. It's pass from me then let's go with the articulation moving her head up is pretty much a no-go because of her long hair and then colliding with the collar of the um, figure two so back there um, more the shoulders but you can see it doesn't really go up down is possible um, let me quickly go back by the way her uh, skin color between the chest and the neck is quite different I should have pointed that out earlier but here it is 
Uh, the back to articulation, you can move ahead side to side, look left and right very easily. Her shoulders, she can twist all the way around. Her sleeves, she's got them there. They don't retract that much on this shoulder. They don't retract that much in general anyway, but I found it was a bit more loose uh, in a good way on the right shoulder. So when you're pulling the arm forward a bit, it's it looks a bit more normal and it feels a bit more unstiff, not stiff. Whereas the left shoulder was a bit, mm, yeah, it's still a bit stiff currently. Um, she only can twist around the shoulder, no actual bicep twist. Then for the bicep curl, she can move it that much, which is a good amount. Hello, hello, who's there? That's pretty good. And then, like I said, no twist at the actual ankle bit, uh, uh, wrist bit, sorry. And then the twist at the wrist, and then the up and down, <coughs> like so. This one doesn't have a cut on the underside of the torso, so she can't really lean forward all that much, not from the top bit. She can lean back a very good amount though. Let's bring the arms back to show you. So show you that again, back. So it's a very good amount. It's just she can't really crunch from the top uh, because of this is this section here. Twisting, she can't do too much of on the top either. It's mostly done from the bottom, like so. And then even crunching, not really. It's about leaning back for this figure. Then down to the legs. The legs do not use the pull down. I think that's a bit of a missed opportunity. I think they could have used pull down just for a little bit of uh, extra dynamic posing. Um, so yeah, that's one little tiny issue. <clears throat> and then let's show you that anyway. So it can lift up like so. It's still a good amount. I just think if it could be used the drop down uh, system, then she could probably got it up a little bit higher. Her leg doesn't go back a huge deal because of her bum gets in the way. Her butt is actually not too badly done. Um, it's, it kind of reminded me of Cami's because it got stuck, but it looks a lot better than whatever Cami, uh, SH Figarts Cami works with. So it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's serviceable in my opinion. She lifts her legs to do the splits like so, but not so much like that because of that leg. But it's still, you know, a fine leaping pose if you needed to get her into that pose. Then to the knee. Her knees bend back really, really well, so she can do a really cool like jumping from an explosion uh, pose very easily. That's very, very cool. Um, and then the ankles. Ankles are up and down, not backwards too much, but also she can kind of pivot on them, but only about that much. You can't do it the other way. Uh, the left one for me is a little bit stiff. The right one was a lot easier to work with. Um, so that's just a small thing. It's not an issue per se. Well, hopefully it doesn't become an issue. Um, but that's the articulation, sorry, I forgot the toe, of course, there. And that is the articulation for Black Widow. It's a pretty simple figure overall, and it even looks quite simple, but you know what? I actually like it. I think it's, sometimes simple is actually quite good, right? You shouldn't complain too much about wanting overly complex and overly engineered figures and stuff. I think this, for what they're trying to do with this Black Widow figure, I think is good. I just kind of wish she had a gun or a knife that's about it for this one um, but yeah, it looks good I think then let's show you how to change the face take off the hair like so got a bit of paint scuff in there but you're not gonna see it take off the head then you're left with this looks like an Android now uh, and I'll do it with the change it swap it with the right face the one where she's looking to the left actually apply that and then replace the hair back on very simple to do, very similar to many other figures out there. Then to change the hand, just pull off one hand. Then you choose the hand that you want. I'm going to use this hand. No, I'm not because it's the right hand. That's the left hand. I'm going to use the, the right hand with the open fingers. And there we go. Magic fingers. Uh, and that's it. That's how you change her face and hands. I've also shown you how to change the weapon, but let's change that anyway, so you can see what it looks like. So let's get the left hand and attach that. Her joints, by the way, are very thin. This figure overall, like I mentioned, is quite petite and slender. So if you've got really, really large hands, it might be really fiddly to work with. It's okay for me, but could be an issue for some people, an annoyance, but it works, it's fine. Um, so here we go. This is what she looks like holding 
the one baton and then you can do the same thing with the other hand or you can have a holding one and then attach one in there whatever kind of uh, setup that you want to use for her uh, but I think she looks quite good in general you can get her into like pretty good sweeping poses leaping poses uh, maybe not like too much to do with the legs in the upper portion because lack of uh, range there but otherwise I think it's okay so sizing her up next to the other figures so we've got Iron Man right here so Black Widow is about 15 centimeters Iron Man is about 16 ish bringing out Thor as well now both of these figures I've covered quite recently so check out my channel for those ones and then finally I've got Thanos who just tanks over everyone I'm gonna keep my hand there because I know they're all gonna collapse in any moment so Thanos is a giant compared to all of them so that's expected I could have sworn though that in real life Scarlett Johansson is way tinier compared to Chris Hemsworth but you know what it looks fine to me I'm not a huge huge stickler for scale so much as long as it looks decent to the naked eye uh, it should be okay but that's the sizing and scaling for those two figures for you now I got my Black Widow from CD Japan uh, Nippon Yasan actually for about five and a half thousand yen uh, she sh still should be available at most retailers including American ones like Amazon and Big Bad Toy Store so if you do really want her she shouldn't be too much of a struggle to get um, and she should still cost the same price too maybe even less now because I think it was a general release and they made quite a lot of them or they did a reissue of sort of many people cancelled the orders I don't know but last I checked she was plentiful on the marketplace so thanks for watching anyway uh, I've covered the other figures like I mentioned I will cover the remainder Infinity War figures that I have available to me and of course I will cover the Avengers Endgame figures coming out being delivered to me they're on their way from Japan uh, wave one is anyway check out my channel for those figures check out my channel for other figures too stay safe stay happy wherever you are whatever you're doing I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.